1941. A day well chosen. Five years ago, the Italian aggressor passed down the road into Addis Ababa, bringing murder and terror in his wake. And now this man, small of stature but with the heart of a lion, once more gazes on his capital, Addis Ababa, the new flower, wreathed in hundreds of eucalyptus trees. Come on, come on, come to the fountain. This foundation is on a holy mountain. And the Lord loved the gates of Zion more than all dwelling places of Jacob. Glorious things have been spoken as the old city of God, Sila. Said everyone the righteous will be there. I swore that the righteous will be there. Ah, what must Israel do? What must we as the once lost but now found black sheep of the house of Israel do? What must we do in this time? Do we know the time? Do we not see the signs? Are we not able to receive and perceive even through the word of truth and and with the Ruach HaKodesh, the signs of the times, what must Israel do? What must I and I do? I and I must repent. I and I must have a change of mind. But you know, the first thing that we need to do before we can have a change of mind, because most folks will think, well, I'm all right the way I am. I, I don't need to have a change of mind. I'm just right in the present condition situation some folks feel like that even though it's all mashed up all dashed up all smashed up they'll still that's the pride right and the pride keeps you right falling right that pride keeps you in a fallen situation in a real shit team or situation brothers and sisters i was just talking um a little bit earlier to ones and ones about you know the principle of being broken and, and redeemed right of being broken and redeemed and i'm you know when we say broken because of the world flesh and devil we don't even understand we think that well if we have some uh money or the so-called snake's eyes we're all right right because we've been all deceived we've been turned out of the way we are astray we're like lost sheep Right. That needs to return to the shepherd, even the great shepherd, the real Amen. Right. You see this right here. He was known in ancient Kemet, but they rejected him in ancient Kemet. We know who he was. The pre-incarnate Yeshua is the Amen of ancient Kemet. And we see the connection with this right here. We talk about the tablets of law. Right. And Torah to the law and to the testimony. If they speak not like this, there's no light, right? There is no light, the divine light, the light of truth, right? Because he was in the world. The world was made by him, right? But the light shine in darkness, right? In the ignorance and in ignorance, we don't perceive it, right? We don't see it. So I pray for those who might be blind to this particular message that even in the remainder of this time leading up to Yom Kippur and to the Day of Atonement, that the Holy Spirit will convince you, but moreover, the Ruach HaKodesh, if you're not convicted, will convict you, right? And when you're convicted, right, then you begin to recognize the truth. You begin to recognize the real state of fallen man, of fallen humanity. It says that the first shall be last, Right? And the last shall be first. That's what he says. That's what the master, that's what the doni says. I don't know. Does he say that? The first shall be last and the last shall be first. Well, you know, we can talk about the whole tap niggas, you know, but we're speaking of my niggas, Yeshua, right? I and I niggas, right? The real niggas, niggas and the guest, and even his father, our father, the king of kings upon the throne of David. So brothers, the first thing we have to recognize is our broken condition, 
right? Our broken condition, right? And the barakat, the barakat, the blessing, right? There is a blessing to be poured out in this season. And we're in that time of the change of season. There's a season change. They say, they say the darkest the darkest night of the year, it is said to be Rosh Hashanah or during this season. I'll go look it up. I think it's Rosh Hashanah. Correct me, Wonder Moch, if I'm incorrect about that. I know it's in this time of the tabernacles, the darkest time of the year. Right. And it's so beautiful when you can really um, see what and hear what Hawaii Apollos, what Paul, what the great apostle is saying, right, within his letters. When he's speaking on these very things, he's speaking on this very season. Some say that the master, the presence of he will come, he will reveal himself. Perhaps he will reveal himself in this season. This would be the ideal season. But this is a season whether he, as you say, whether the Lord comes in this season. Right. Or whether he chooses a more appropriate season to reveal himself. That's the revelation, the apocalypse. There are the blessings. He still gives us the blessings. He still is pouring out for us a barakat. So as the men of Yisachar, right, as the men of Isaacar in First Chronicles 1232, the men that had understanding. That had an understanding, right, of what? Of the times. Do we have an understanding of the times? Before we get to Rastaman, before we get to the overstanding, we got to get the understanding, then the understanding, then we come to the overstanding, then we can stand. See, this is the key, right? This is the key because it said that all the males, right, all the males of Israel, right, are to do what? Are to stand before, right, stand before Yahweh, he who be who he be. Right, Eloheinu, right, our Elohim, and where? In the place. Where's the place? Right, where it says the abomination that causes desolation. He that understandeth, like to stand in the holy place, he that understandeth these things, that's reading these things, may he who read these things understand them. May he who read these things understand them. Right, what is that holy place? Right, that holy place is in his grace and his truth. Right. So grace and truth is the key in the repentance. Right. The grace and truth and that broken heart. Right. That that brokenness. You see, if there's no brokenness, then there's nothing to redeem. Right. So those who are in the pride of the false gods, even if they're gods out of a place where ancient black people were the first people to do something there, that doesn't matter in this time. You see, we have to be in the right time, right? And when we're in the right time, right, that means we're in the right spiritual heart and mind. So what must Israel do? The men that have understanding of the times, they also know, right? They know, not guess, not perhaps, not maybe, but I and I know what Israel ought to do in this Yom Kippur Right, this Yom Kippur 2014 season. You see, Ha Satan, the enemy, the adversary, right, and all of their minions, they're applying pressure. They're attacking Israel. They're attacking the Ethiopian Hebrews. They're attacking the black Hebrews. They're attacking John's people, right? They're putting pressure, right, on those of I and I who are of the body of Ha Mushiach. They're putting pressure because the enemy do not want us, right? They don't want us to receive the baraka. They don't want us to receive the blessing. Remember the baraka, right? You know the baraka. The bar let me get this right here. Let me get this right here, right? Let me show you the baraka. Let me show you on screen right here, right? Here's the baraka right here, right? Here's the baraka right here, right? The fifty fourth. We're right there in the fifty third. Right, adim tu ha'azinu, give ear, right, give ear, and these are the Torah portions from the New Covenant, right, and concluding portions of Deuteronomy, right, of the fifth, right, the fifth volume of Moses' Torah, then there's the half Torah reading there, right, for this uh, Shabbat, 2 Samuel 22, 1 to 51, 
right, from the Torah, Deuteronomy 32, 1 to 52, and from the New Covenant, right, Romans chapter 10, verses 14 to Romans 11 and 12, and it's called Adimtu, right, the 53rd. Well, it's coming up on the 54th. Yeah, Barakabat, Baraket, Yehichnat, Vezot, Wezot, Habaraka, and this is the blessing, and this is is it and this is the blessing look at the new testament reading revelation 22 1 to 5 right so they don't want us the enemy knows right that he hath but a short time so he's putting the pressure on right putting the pressure on right and you can feel the pressure and people that you know when people are under the stress they can't pay the bills, right? It starts to break down all sort of things in their personal lives, relationships, right? Are broken because of the this world, right? And we know that the God of this world is Ha Satan, is Satan is the God of this world, not the God and Father of our Adonenu Yeshua HaMoshiach, but of those who are of the world, flesh, and the devil. And they're putting the pressure on the body of Hamushia. They're putting the pressure on the black Hebrews, on the Ethiopian Hebrews. They're putting the pressure, right, on the true church, right, the true church of the firstborn. They're putting pressure on the redeemed from the Goyim, the redeemed of the nations. They're putting pressure on the body of Hamushia. Because the enemies do not want I and I to receive the Baraket, right? The Baraka, right? If, of this extraordinary, of this, this, this is an extraordinary with those blood moons. Let's show those blood moons up here, right? Let's blot out that eye of, of Egypt right there, right? Um, but keep I and I, I and I, Rebi right there. There we go. Right, oh, there we go, right there. So you see this right here. This is a little more of the. This is a little more of the view, right? The point of view, right? That we want to share with you, right? What must we do, right? What must we do, right? Well, we're still in this, in these days of repentance. These ten days between the blowing of the trumpet, right? And it could be the first trumpet. Right, the ten days, the end, the blowing of the trumpet, Yom Kippur, right? Yom Kippur. That inhabitants of the earth are under a satanic, are uh, escalating and an increasing satanic attack. You remember I and I mentioned that really when you look at the blood moon, since the moon has to do with the lunar and they told about somebody's a lunatic, but we have bloody lunacy. Right? And you can see this in Joel. And we're going to get to Joel because Joel has the blessing, the seven blessings. Stay tuned, brothers and sisters, for the seven blessings of the day of atonement, at one men tau. At one man tau, at one man's cross, at tone meant. Amen. Amen. Now the end or the fulfillment of the ten days of I and I repentance, right? The the change of mind, the return from the astray ways, right? The return from the astray way to Jah's way. Right, the stray way to his way began on the Rosh Hashanah or Ras Hasana, the head, the Ras of the year. Jah has commanded for the angel to blow that trumpet, right? Jah blows that trumpet, right? And I and I, we repent. We have a change of mind. We begin this with a self examination. What must Israel do? What must the true church do? What must the righteous among the Gentiles do? We must repent. We must have a self-examination, examine, examine ourselves, right? And if we see anything within I and I that we know is not like him, 
right? We can change it. If it's beyond our ability, we can ask him, take it to the Father, take it to the Abba, Beshem Yeshua, Be Jesus Christo, Sim, in the name of Yeshua, in the authority, based on our Emuna, based on our faith, based on our authority as the Banei Ha Elohim, as the sons, the sons and the daughters of God. Some things we can change on our own. We have the power. Sometimes, some things that, you know, if, uh, a habit once formed can become like an incurable second nature. But we can always call on him for his assistance, for his healing, right? And even if it breaks the eye's heart, remember Psalm 147 and 3, he heals the broken in heart and he binds up their wounds. He binds up I and I. I and I wounds, right? So the repenting, this, these days of repentance, these days of self-examination in spirit, in his spirit, in his truth, right? Meditating upon his word and where he provides the, the brothers and the sisters to, to, to fellowship with them, right? Even if it's long distance, call up ones, have a call conference, reason with ones. Don't care if Babylon want to listen. Babylon needs to repent too. Those who are in Babylon, many of them are, are slaves, Right? They need to hear the word of Yeshua, hear the word of the Bain Ha Elohim, right? Because whom the Son has freed is free indeed. Now, Jah, the Yah, Yahweh, He is pouring out a blessing in this time. Right, he's gonna pour out a blessing, and we touch on on Joel, right, and on Joel chapter two once again from the first Passover, April around April fifteenth, twenty fourteen. We did a a sermon, a sibiket, a teaching on Joel. Check it out, my brothers and sisters and mothers. Check that out because that goes along with the seven blessings to be poured out. Right on the Yom Kippur, the Seriet Ken, right? Astesrio, right? In this time, 2014, October 3rd to October 4th, Jah, he pours out seven things, seven blessings that I and I may receive, right? To both happen and to both be a mana, a mana, give thanks, my sister, a mana fest. Right, a manifest in I and I lives. So the seven blessings there are seven blessings of the at one man tau, the atonement. Now ha Satan, the enemy, the adversary, he hates, he despises this. Right? He hates this season. Right? He really has a hatred for these holy seasons and these holy times. But there's nothing he can do about it. Right. Because he knows he has a short time. Right. He has a short season. Right. And they, Satan, right, the, the, the Satanat, they are not quite sure what Jah is up to. They don't know what I and I father is up to. Right. Will he send Moshiach? Right. Will he send the Bain Ha Elohim at this time? What will he do? Right. The adversary doesn't know. Right, so his hatred is coupled with his ignorance. Right, Satan knows, right, that the seven blessings that may happen to you, and he wants to do everything to make sure that you do not receive them. Right, that you do not stand before Yahweh, do you do not stand in the holy place in grace to receive the blessing, that you do not bring forth that offering. He wants to do everything in his power to frustrate your blessing and to keep you right in his state, right, where he has control under the curses, right, under the curses for disobedience. He knows of these seven baraka. Right to happen to Black Israel, the Beta Israel, the redeemed Beta Ethiopian Hebrew Israelites, to the true church, right, and to the righteous among the nations, to the righteous among the Goyim, to the righteous Gentiles. So you have to recognize 
who's who in I and I father's house. That's why it says in my father's house, there are many mansions. Now, Hasatan, right, he knows that this season could be his last. Truly, the enemy knows that this particular season, right, could very well, might very well be the last. He doesn't quite know what our Abba Father in Moshia and through his Ruaha Kodesh, the Holy Spirit, is up to. Right, So the enemy knows that this season could be his last opportunity, his, his last chance to do what? His last chance to steal, right? his last chance to kill, his last chance to destroy. Right? This could be his last 30 to 40 days upon earth right? and in the fallen heavens. So he is desperately trying to take as many people Right to perdition with him, right as many as he can, right, and you can see the increasing satanization, if you want to call it that, right, of of of, of the world of everything, right. You can see it; it is so blatant. right, because Hasatan is in a panic mode. He does not know, right. He does not know. This is why the word says that when the enemy comes in. Right, because it says it shall be as what? It shall be as the days of Noch. Right, it shall be as the days of Noch. Right, so when the right when the enemy comes in, go over right here. When the enemy comes in like a flood, right? What does Jah do? Right, Jah for the righteous sake, he raises a banner. Right, he raises a banner. When the enemy comes in like a flood, right? He raises a, a, a standard, right? He raises a standard against this enemy invasion. And this is why you're seeing increasing wickedness on certain fronts. But you have authority as a son or a daughter of the king, right? In Yeshua's name, in the in the faith in the Shem Yeshua, Be Shem Yeshua, in the name of Yeshua, in Gita Yesu Sim, Be Sima Yesus. Amen. Amen. Hasatan and his 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 deluded people, they're afraid that more ones, right? More ones will be freed by the hearing of the true faith and even by the hearing your testimony that's why i've been encouraging others brothers and sisters to testify you don't have to go on camera but to testify to share to repost don't care about ones and ones this is why ones and ones they, they try to troll you they try to clown what you're saying but when you are grounded right when you're grounded you already know what's going on they don't know what's going on still we preach the gospel Right, the good news for them to repent, right, for them to hear the true faith, right, and that they and we, I and I and we, will receive the barakat, right, the blessings of this extraordinary season. Shalom, Ras Tefari. Stay tuned, brothers and sisters. More to come.